I walked through the entrance for the experiential dining experience. The bar is still open, decorated with golden lights and shimmering satin cloths. It feels like I am in a different world where the world revolves around luxurious parties and money is never a concern of mine. What an ironic change from the current situation of the pandemic outbreak, where every country's economy is on halt and thousands of people are losing their jobs. Fights, quarrels, arguments. People seem to be afraid of losing control over their loved one within this unpredictable time. Why does everything seem so calm here? Human, alcohol, and room filled with laughter. There is so much joy that revolves around this space. Which of it is the reality that I should embrace myself in? Stay home, they say. But I am here, aren't I? Am I supposed to feel constrained within the boundary of the law, or am I allowed to step into this world filled with mystery and wonder? Champagne, miss. Oh yes, champagne, please. I am walking through a corridor with infinite reflections, feeling like a character within the movie Inception. Where exactly am I? I took a pause and looked towards my left. Please look left. Is that me? Is that how I always looked like? I looked away quickly, afraid of the truth that lies beyond my own reflections. I thought walking up the stairs would bring me into a whole new world where the sun will be shining brighter and birds will be chirping louder. However, I realized that nothing had changed. Is this all a dream? Am I just confined within the world of my own thoughts? Did the monotony of coming and going blends into an endless repetition of life, and I am just stuck here, all alone? I tried climbing higher up the stairs, realizing that no matter how high I tried to climb, nothing seemed to have changed. Please look straight. I looked straight and stared hard into my own reflection. Maybe. Just maybe, it is time to learn to understand and accept myself. Please sit on the chair in front of you. I sat in front of the mirror, waiting to be served. A small cabinet opened on my right, and food was placed in front of me. Oh, look! It is a dim sum platter. It is my favorite food when I am growing up in Malaysia. It reminds me of my usual Sunday breakfast with my family. Please take a bite of the food placed in front of you. I took a bite of the steam bun placed in front of me while staring at my own reflection from all directions. Is that the reflection of who I perceive myself to be in the future? Am I skinny enough? Am I pretty enough? Did I manage to make my parents proud of me? I scattered my brain for fragments of my past and cultural upbringing, and yet, I still couldn't identify myself. My fragmented self began to search for personal identity and sense of belonging within the space. I took a deep breath. Am I here to search for an answer for the decisions I made in my life, or am I just here to take a break from the chaotic reality? I am sitting in a room together with three other individuals. A slice of cake was placed in front of me. Please take a bite. From the spoon in front of you, I took a bite of the cake. Oh, it is not what I think it is. It tastes just like mashed potato and gravy. That's weird, isn't it? Savory food camouflaging as something sweet. It is definitely playing with my senses. Well, it makes me wonder: 
Am I camouflaging as something else as well? Am I pretending to be something I am not? Well, I agree that we are all influenced and manipulated by our own culture, upbringing and society, but did that conceal my personal identity? Or did it help me grow as an individual? Maybe the manipulation of human senses is just a reflection of the reality, where the truth can sometimes be different from what we see, smell, hear, touch and taste. Please stand up from the chair. I thought I am standing in the middle of the ocean. I could hear myself listening to the crashing sound of the wave and tasting the saltiness within the ocean breeze. Please walk two steps to the front. I walked around and found multiple coral reefs laid out disorderly around the space. Is there an instruction book or a certain order I should be following? What am I supposed to do here? I'm confused. The other people in the room seem to be picking and eating something from the coral reefs. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Please bend down and pick up the food in front of you. I picked up a pearl-looking item and popped it into my mouth just like everyone else around me. Hmm, what is that? Is that pistachio I am having? That is definitely a delightful bite. Please look at your right. I looked towards my right and saw a projection of the making of profiteros. I never knew it took so much effort to make a bite of food which basically disappeared in my mouth within seconds. It is a wonder how much time and hard work an individual take to create a beautiful bite for the enjoyment of others. I should learn to be more appreciative and grateful to the beautiful things and wonderful moments in my life. The environment shifts and I realize that I am now walking through a forest. Well, that experiential dining experience definitely managed to highlight the manipulation of human experience through culinary and dining environment in order to intensify human psychological implications. It seemed like in this experience, I became my own subject. It taught me to ignore the limitation that was placed by the society we live within. I may have been quarantined at home for the past month and separated myself from the chaotic world, but I also managed to distinguish myself from the unrealistic society expectations. I learned how to embrace every flaw and imperfections within myself and found a way to restore my own morality and personal identity. Just like the forest I am walking through right now, I managed to find beauty within the physical parameter of virtual reality spaces through the use of culinary art. Stay home, they say, and stay home, I will.